a stranger. While we don't mind you wandering about our camp and territory, the tower is off limits to anyone but Crusaders. All right, I'll bite. Not many in the frontier have shown more than a passing interest in us. Enough to spin rumors about futuristic knights. Or confuse us with the Brotherhood of Steel. Or worse, the Enclave. But you might be the first in several months to do more than run away. Or scowl us from out of rifle range. So, you might be asking yourself, are these guys Brotherhood outcasts? The answer is, not quite. Our origins started the NCR Brotherhood War. In fact, you could say we're born of the same killing fields as the Frontier NCR. You see, the Domina fought and bled upon the dirt in front of Helios I. Paladin Weaver, she was known as then. But for all her efforts, she couldn't damn the NCR Horde from crushing the Brotherhood that day. All in the end, she just lay bleeding and broken. Watching NCR boots step over her and into Helios 1. Humiliated by her defeat at Helios 1, she left the Mojave in disgrace with a few loyalists. They headed north meeting up with other refugees and misfits, all following an old path to New Canaan made by refugees of the NCR Brotherhood War. The Dominion began to practice Mormonism, but rather than peace, it bore something dark within her, seeping into her mental wounds from Helios I. But it remained beneath the surface until nearly a year later. That is when New Canaan burned. Weaver had been away on a mission to a local tribe. The hideous seed of war bloomed again in her heart. Possessed with fury, the Dominion repaired and repainted her power armor. Gritting her teeth, she combined the Crusader's Cross and the Brotherhood of Steel symbol, painting it in blood red onto the breastplate. Standing back, she believed God had a new mission for her, to reclaim the Holy Land, rebuild the old cities like it had been done with New Canaan. So that is our story, our mission, to wage a holy war against the unworthy, to purge the enemies of humanity. Tell you what, how about if you can prove you're serious about joining up with us? Let's call it an initiation trial. There's bound to be a large pre-war library in a city this size. With that in mind, how about you find a book on our religion? Oh, and one more caveat. To make it interesting, how about a rare one? Something that would both teach you about Mormons and be of value to us. Bring it back and we'll talk. I see you, courier. You can ask, but don't expect an answer. No. No. No! I am the last of my eyes, and the greatest of them all. You're like the Vault Dweller, a person whose very presence can change everything. I'd be a fool to ignore you. I have no stance, no ties. No distractions. 
I sell information to whoever asks and pays. I don't discriminate. The only superpower I'm loyal to is the network. I have no interest in petty wars beyond profit and information. You have my attention. Very astute. Yes, I use radio waves to control my eyes. I tell them where they need to be, what they need to look at, and they answer. One of my eyes, since blinded, bore the word network on it, but the O was lost to the cold, thus the network. The Foundation came before the Tenth Eye, ancient machines created by the giants of the Old World to police and control the people. As for its current purpose, the network itself, I am its architect. As far as you can see, perhaps farther soon. Power. The Legion believes in military power, NCR the power of democracy, and House finds power in his Legion of robotic slaves. They're all wrong. Information is power. When you control information, and who has it, you control wars, men, nations. With a little effort, I'll control everything. You, and others like you, you always find a way. Always. I want to see you. The woman behind the name of Courier. Information is my business, and information regarding you is more valuable than most. You rode the wasteland even before the bullet made its mark. You can find them on your own. You make a fair point. I've sent the location of my eyes to the machine on your arm. Should make things easier. I am the tenth eye, the eye that sees everything. It doesn't matter who I am. Or what I am. I have a title. I am the Tenth Eye. You are the Courier. That's all that matters.
Easy. She doesn't look like she is here to harm us. Perhaps some poor soul struck with similar bad fortune. So, stranger, what are you doing here? I'm Elian, and this is Morgaus and Percy. You could say we have become the keepers of this old world treasure. I suppose there's no harm in reliving it for a few moments. It might sound <laughs> hopelessly romantic, even foolish, but I've been searching for my lost love. She went missing during our exodus to a bunker called Hidden Valley, in a place far south from here. Soon I learned that an evil man had abducted her and was doing who knows what to her. My mind can only imagine. He was seen as a dignified man in our community. But beneath his well-practiced smiles beats the heart of a tyrant. Both he and she disappeared for months. So I gathered a party to hunt him down and rescue her. Rumor stated he fled north, so we followed. Seasons came and went, and so a hellish winter set upon us. We became trapped in the mountains. Not all of us survived. Broken and near death, we settled here. Seldom does anyone visit this place after we purged it of some cannibals. Just us. Books in the damn cold. If you meet a Charlene from the Brotherhood, please tell her I'm still looking for her. I know it's unlikely, but it's all that keeps me going. Us. Brotherhood of Steel. <sighs> we were long ago. Given the NCR have crept this far north, I doubt the Brotherhood of Steel exists anymore. Like this library, we are just monuments to a culture long destroyed. Really? How many? Is there a Charlene Yang with them? <sighs> Sorry for the outburst. I got a little carried away. I know it might be a little forward, but can you find out if they know of a Charlene Yang? Please. I'm sick. I'm afraid the journey in this weather may be fatal. From the books in here, I believe it's because I left a sore throat go on too long. That's all I ask of you. Thanks. Another day in this desolate place. Thankfully, we can escape for a little while into one of these books. I'm really starting to like Mark Twain. Have you found the book? Wow, that's a rare one indeed. Looks to have been bound in the 19th century. Hell, it's probably the only copy left in existence. I'll bet the Dominion herself would want to see that. Give me a second, I'll radio in, and have Castell and Clements meet you at the entrance. He'll escort you to see the Dominion. I'm sure she will take great satisfaction in receiving this book, and meeting the person who found it. 
Castellan, you're not gonna believe this. But there's an outsider here with a 19th century psalmody in their possession. I'm sending them inside now. be the outsider Warden Howell mentioned. Welcome to the Tower. Our little fortress in this swath of the wasteland. I'm Castellan Clemens. I will be your escort during your visit to the Tower. Do you have any questions before we take your find to the Domino? While I think that is more the Domina's purview to answer that question, I will give you some broad strokes of our mission. Our goal is to retake the great cities of the past from the grip of the unworthy. The Raiders, the Legion, the Enclave, or any other wasteland tyrants. Portland, or rather the Frontier, is not high on the list of our cities to retake. However, the Domina is here for personal reasons. The tower was a fortuitous find, as it is filled with protectrons, terminals, and other electronics we can use to repair our equipment. Not to mention a protective force field around the entrance and a few other delightful discoveries. The Brotherhood would kill to have this place. Of the many rumors about House spread across the Mojave, I can confirm that he is a mechanical maestro like no other. Robco Tower seems to have been his fortress in the pre-war northwestern United States. I probably should stop here as the Domina is waiting. We'd better get moving. In a nutshell, I'm the person who acts on behalf of the Domina. I oversee visitors, low-level internal issues, and the garrison here at the Tower. I am also the administrator responsible for maintaining the armory and protecting the Tower as well as the Abernathy Contonement. Very well. All right then, follow me. Good to see you again. Is there something I can do for you? I don't gossip about my friends, and neither should you. Good thing I like the cold. <laughs> I heard that the locals dub it the frozen shitterland. But I think it's beautiful here. I've lived it far worse. What more do you say about the people that killed your family other than they disgust me? My 16-year-old sister bled out in my arms. Enough said. Farewell, my friend.
Greetings, my lady. It is my honor to present to you the stranger who found the rare Mormon Saul Modi. Please, take a seat with us. Dear Lord, thank you for another day, and thank you for those gathered at this table. That thy blessings continue to bring us courage, prosperity, and strength. Welcome, stranger, to the Tower, and more importantly, to our round table. As its name suggests, it has no head, for all who sit here have equal voice. For I view all men equal under the Lord, and that a man is most honest among his peers. With that said, I'm Domina Weaver, leader of the Crusaders. You are familiar with Castell and Clements already. So, ladies, if you would be so kind as to introduce yourselves. I'm Charlene Young, Seneschal and head of the Sophers. The root word is Sophia, Greek for knowledge. One could say we're akin to doctors or scholars. We research into all-known biomedical sciences, including genetics and old-world pharmaceuticals. Perhaps most paramount is that we are all female. Here we go. Brigham Young taught that women should stand behind the counter, study law or medicine, for the benefit of society. I am paraphrasing, of course. Put some extra salt in that crock of shit before you try to serve it, Charlene. It might go down a little easier. Must you really, Molly? Have you no respect for the sanctity of this table or our ways? I apologize. Equal voice, remember, Charlene? I really wish you would stop trying to force your bullshit codes on the younger girls and tout it like it's gospel. As a matter of fact, Molly, it might be regarded as gospel. You really believe that stupid shit? Jesus. Elijah must have fucked with your brains more than I thought. How dare you? Enough! I apologize for our sudden derailment. We will address this later, both of you. Now then, this is Molly, our chief mechanic and tech wizard. Now, if you will, please tell us how you came into possession of such a rare artifact. So this relic managed to survive the apocalypse in a public library? If anything, test to it being a sacred text, that sure does. May I have it? Thank you. You have no idea how precious this is to us. To our cause. Another torch with which to bring the world out of the darkness. Now then, because of your deed I grant you full access to the tower and membership in our order. Before the ceremony, do you have any questions? This is true. I was there on that godforsaken day. Wraiths of the battle still haunt me. Cannons. Death screams. The stink of death. All of it. I nearly died there, entombed in broken power armor. Rivulets of my blood ran from the joints onto the parched earth. My pride was as broken as my body. But death did not come. As the crows circled above and the sun threatened, I managed to get free and crawl on my belly to a safe patch of grass. Tended my wounds, watching the NCR rejoice. I should have died given the amount of blood loss, but it seems God had other plans. I found a duffel bag under a Joshua tree, containing medical supplies and some clean water. I hid there the whole day convalescing. At dusk, I jammed a medex in my leg and tossed my hollow tags in with a pile of others. I was too ashamed to return to the Brotherhood, so I left the Mojave for a new beginning elsewhere. Eventually, I bought a set of T-45 from a merchant. Didn't seem right for him to have it. And found New Canaan. It was there I was chosen by heaven. Crowned by God to become his judge. The protector of his people on Earth. You could say I've become a paladin now in the truest sense.
I do. Looks are deceiving. The NCR is a poorly trained ragtag lot whose only true strength is number. Besides, I have God on my side. He blesses us. On our journey to the frontier, we came across an untouched military armory in Idaho. It had been stocked with prototype equipment, water, and MREs. All of our current equipment is from there. Chance? Luck? Neither. The provisions were given as a sign from the Lord. He wants us to save his creation. I saw him order the execution of his wounded men. What kind of man does that? The Lord says, vengeance is mine, I shall repay. I'm his sword, swift and dauntless. Blackthorn will answer for his crimes against humanity. His crimes against the Brotherhood. Against those innocent fallen soldiers. <sighs> for what purpose? To become a relic hunter? To worship idols of the old world? They believe they're the only ones with a right to it. How misguided. We are all God's children, and thus our duty is to provide basic human rights to everyone. A right to freedom. A right to life. A right to serenity. My mission now is to restore those rights. To rebuild the grand old world cities. It can be done. Shady Sands, New Canaan. It just requires the will. Very well. We will begin the adubemont. Step this way, please. Right in front of me. Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. By his name do I ask of you this solemn vow. To strive for justice, to banish all evil from our land, and to vanquish all tyranny attempting to ensnare our world. This is my cause. What say you? Very well. By the powers vested in me by the Lord, I grant you the station of man-at-arms and entrance into our sacred order. Accept these gifts. As promised, you now have full access to the tower. The pass card will disable the force fields so you may come and go as you please. As a new member, I present you with these garments and a sidearm. Your food rations can be collected from the trunk in the R&D floor cafeteria. My last request is that, as a member of our order... You help the others around here in their time of need. With that said, this meeting is over. <laughs>